Hello traders, FS Specoletti here. Today is Tuesday, November 12th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course, all included for only $30 per month. So the Aussie dollar has definitely been traveling down pretty hard, and I mean, it definitely looks like a double three. It looks like three waves down, three waves up. Normally, that will lead the lead to one, two, three waves down for like a WXY, or it will lead to like five waves down for more of a traditional ABC, uh, regular flat type looking pattern. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, it's still pushing down very hard. I mean, if this really is a five-way pattern, then it potentially could just keep on stretching out eventually and looking something like that for the wave C of this uh, 335 pattern. Either way, let's take it down even more to the weekly time frame. Now, what I mean here is, I was originally thinking that this was a 3, a 4, this is a 5, and it was potentially getting ready to go up and make a big wave 2. But there's also a possibility that this trend right here needs to be counted independently, like it's a wave 1, and this is potentially like an ABC of 2, and we're already in a wave 3. If this really is a wave 3, this thing will just keep on trending down. If it really is a wave 3, then we are nowhere near the bottom bottom of this wave three this thing has got a long ways to go to the downside so taking it down to the four hour time frame so i have my fibonacci retracement on this last big impulse to move up we will watch our fib levels very closely and the fact that it's closing below the 78 percent is normally a pretty good sign that it will go down and break the previous lows so at this point i do think that it probably is going to go down and it probably will take out the last previous low Going down to the one hour time frame, like I said, we were watching our Fibonacci level, the 78%, especially to see if it did make it a golf and move to the upside. It never did do that, instead it just kept on pushing down. Normally when price goes above or below the 78% of any given move in the market, normally it will go continue to go and usually go at least at 100%. So at this point... Yeah, I mean, I would definitely continue to look for sorts. If you do trade below the one hour time frame, really, you should have been looking for sorts ever since it broke sorts away up here uh, last Friday. If you're more of a swing trader like I was, you were waiting for an engulfing move up at a Fibonacci level, which did not happen. So basically, at this point, you would have to either be waiting for more three-way pullbacks to go sort, or you would be have to wait for a break of starts to the upside on preferably like the four-hour time frame and up to turn back into a buyer. So anyways, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.